Hello YouTube. Today we are going to learn about smart dust. And um, anyhow, this may be a new topic to you. So I will just give you a little bit of background. Smart dust is what it sounds like. It is um, nano to about sub millimeter sized particles that are able to communicate with one another and uh, communicate wirelessly. So if this sounds like science fiction, I assure you it's not. In fact, here we are on Venture Radar and uh, these are the as you can see the top smart dust companies so I started looking at them and then I figured hey why don't we just learn together here and uh, we'll see what these companies are up to and the the first one here is CubeWorks as you can see it was founded in 2013 now mind you the site that we're looking at here is actually kind of a it, it's an information site for venture capitalists so uh, I suspect you can do your own research and find out what you want to put your money into. So here we go. CubeWorks was founded in 2013 to make the next generation millimeter scale computing available today. The company's origins come from the Michigan Micro Moat M3 initiative, a project from the University of Michigan seeking to push the frontiers of, let's see, well here, why don't we just go right there. There we go. And this is this Venture Radar's little scores or whatever. Um, so, seeking to push the frontiers of computing. The Cubisons TM platform by CubeWorks enables the first truly autonomous wireless sensing platform measuring less than a millimeter. Cubison systems are able to sense and process their environment, wirelessly transmit the results or store them for later usage. The versatility of the Cubisons platform allows multiple units to be combined together to tackle larger monitoring and sensing applications. In other words, they can just spray them around and use them all together. It's not just one. The small form factor, wireless capability, and long lifetime of Cubisons makes it an ideal platform for realizing ubiquitous computing ubiquitous so let's just we'll go over here and we'll look up what does ubiquitous mean ubiquity what was that ubiquitous let's see how did we spell that oh, that's intelligent inverters let's see how was that? Or why don't I just, yes, ubiquitous, that was right. Ubiquitous. Go. La la la. There we go. Protein ubiquitous, whoa, okay. Protein coding gene on human chromosome also known as okay I don't know what that's about ubiquitous by Miriam Webster existing or being everywhere at the same time yes so see we have uh, some people here that uh, want to have godlike sensing capabilities ubiquitous computing the first generation first generation and mind you this was founded back in 2013 and here we are now in 2017 uh, are equipped with imaging motion detection temperature sensing and pressure sensing CubeWorks aims to expand the breadth of application and 
position its Cubison's technology as pivotal for realizing the impending internet of everything. That's right, because they want to have this smart dust everywhere, sensing everything all the time. So, we'll go back here. Let's go to see what Hitachi is doing here. Again, we're all learning together here. Huh. Okay, well. It's not telling too much about what Hitachi is doing. But, obviously, they're involved in smart dust. I saw another article that said they have these little tiny specks and uh, they are 0.15 by 0.15 millimeters uh, big. I don't, I don't know how flat they are. I was reading another one too. Um, they were talking about pretty much nanoparticles. Um, here, well, let's just see here. Miriam Webster, we're going to get rid of you. I'll go back here in a minute. And uh, we'll look up Hitachi Smart Dust. Okay, world's smallest. We'll just click there. No, we're not going to let you do that right now. There we go. There, yes, measuring only 0.15 by 0.15 millimeters in size and 7.5 micrometers, which I don't even know how thick that is, but it certainly looks pretty small if these are, yeah, I don't even know what that is, but good grief. Nicknamed powder or dust, these chips consist of 128-bit ROM, read-only memory, that can store a 38-digit number. So, basically, I mean, look at this here. That's, I suspect this is a hair. I mean, good grief. Would you know? W would you know if that stuff was like, you know, just around your house? Would you know, like, if it was just in your hair <laughs> all the time? I mean, come on. Inhaling it, you know, just in your body. Oh, geez. Everybody getting lung cancer and uh, allergies. I wonder if this stuff is being sprayed on us. I mean, who knows? Right? Let's see what else we have here. Birdie. Little Birdie. Birdie is a smart air monitor. There we go. We monitor air quality of your home. Of course they do. Tracking dust, soot, and other health dangers. Plus warn you about emergencies like fire and carbon monoxide. Stay connected and protected in your home. That's right. Yeah, because formerly canary. Yeah, singing like a canary is an elegant device for your ceiling. Oh, because it's going to be spreading out these nanoparticulates everywhere. Sends you the information you need right to our app. Of course it does. So see, I mean, just check it out here. Look, this is the website just find these companies and go ahead then and then just search these companies and see what they're doing you know just like what we did here with Hitachi okay um, <laughs> it's the next dimension folks so have a good day